Hey everyone, welcome back to our Excel series. In our previous video, I have shown you how you can copy data from a sheet and paste it into another sheet as well as in the another workbook. In this video, I'll show you how to delete a sheet or multiple sheets at the same time and how you can rename a particular sheet. So the question is, why do we have to delete a sheet? Have you ever wondered why we should delete a sheet? The first reason behind deleting a sheet is to reduce the memory of the Excel file. The second one is that if we had done any rough calculation in a particular sheet, we don't want anybody else to see that. So there might be two options for that. Either you can hide those sheets or you can delete it permanently to reduce the size of the file. Now let's see how we can delete a particular sheet. So as you remember, in our previous videos, we have used this car data set and I have shown you example with this card data set how we can copy paste the data right now in this sheet we have multiple sheets here raw data 2 raw data 3 raw data 4 raw data 5 and raw data 6 all those sheets has the same data and frankly speaking we do not need these sheets except this raw data right so either we have to hide these sheets or we have to delete these sheets in order to reduce the memory size of this file so how we can delete that in order to delete a particular sheet, what you need to do first is that you need to go on that sheet, then right click on it. You will see this option delete, click on it. Then there will be a message pop up stating that this Microsoft Excel will permanently delete this sheet and you do you want to continue it. So what it's showing is that if you delete this sheet, you won't be able to retrieve it as it's a permanent delete. So we don't require the sheet anymore. So I'll click on delete and the sheet will be deleted right the second point is how we can delete multiple sheets suppose you have 10 or 15 sheets in a particular workbook and you want to delete it in a single go how you can do that to do that you have to press control button then click on all those sheets which you want to delete so suppose i'm i need to delete these three sheets i have clicked on it and it's get highlighted then right click anywhere within these three sheets you will see this option delete click on it again you will get this message then press on delete all those three sheets will be deleted so the another point which we want to cover in this video is to how to rename a particular sheet so the question comes that why we should rename a sheet currently suppose if i create a new sheet the name of the sheet comes as sheet 6 by default this means that this is the sheet 6 which has been created hierarchically. So there would be sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. And now when I have created this, it is sheet 6. And suppose if I have this same data, I'll just copy this data and I'll paste it here. And I want to I want to rename this sheet to give some more information to the user that what exactly this sheet consists so i want to rename it then i have to go on the sheet then right click on it and press on this rename option once you click on the rename option this name of the sheet will be highlighted and then you can write it so our concern was that we have to give information to user that what exactly this sheet consists so suppose this is the backup of my raw data so i can put backup of raw data now whenever somebody open this file and he went to this raw data sheet he will find the data then if he sees this sheet particular this particular sheet he'll know that okay this is the backup where every day or on a weekly basis fortnightly basis or a monthly basis the backup is getting captured here so this is the way we rename the sheet now one thing that you need to uh, remember is that how the way we deleted multiple sheets in a single go we do not have that flexibility with the rename option if you want to rename the sheets then you have to go one by one and rename it so i'll again do it copy of raw data and the sheet is renamed right great so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video i'll show you how you can import an image into excel Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check out other videos 
and hit the like and subscribe button.